this bout has been sponsored by Easy Cleaning Solutions. Please welcome firstly into the blue corner. Representing the Heroes Gym from Kings Lynn in Norfolk, Brandon Wilmore. Please welcome his opponent across the ring into the red corner. Representing Maidstone Boxing Club, Lenny Fuller. You might see me driving an Italian way off. That's how windows go into the gym. Yeah, you two dumbbells, you're one over an egg. Do it for Keisha, do it for Kim. Do it for the speedos, do it for the beach. Do it for the stamina, do it for the sheets. Do it for the plastic, do it for the chest. Do it for the summertime, ready for the best. told this is about to watch out for. First time I've seen either of these guys, it's Lenny Fuller fighting out the Maidstone Boxing Club in the red corner and Brandon Wilmore from the Heroes Gym in Kings Ling, Norfolk fighting out the blue corner. He's wearing the sparkling red shorts with the green gloves. It's EBA boxing action time. I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box. And once again, this is out to be a good fight, this one. Shots well early on in this fight is uh, Lenny Fuller. Yeah, just flicking out of that jab. Right hook didn't find its way through, but good. Uppercut, left hand. He looks at the ref. There's no complaint there. Nice left hook exchange for a right cross there. And there's a right cross of his own there from Fuller. Fuller got real power in those shots. He's a stocky young lad and he seems to be trying to get over the top of the guard of Brandon Wilmot. Looks nice and relaxed as well. Don't want to punch out early in these bouts. Heroes Gym in Kingsley, Norfolk. They breed good fighters up there. They fight a lot in that part of the country. They really do. I commentate up there a lot myself. A little bit of respect for each fighter from both these guys now. They've started to work each other out. They're settling down some good boxing here. Very low for that, uh, ducking down, making it hard to be hit. That's the name of the game, I suppose. End of a very good round and some good shots from both fighters here at EBA.
Well, round two, it's out to be a good fight, this. It looks like it's well matched. A little bit more explosive is Lenny Fuller, but Brandon Wilmot, experienced competitor, just chasing him down, just making him work all the time, trying to put him on the back foot, just constantly trying to keep himself in the centre of this ring as well. Good right hand there from Fuller. Keeping him long with that jab hand, just find his way through, mixes up the body, left hook as he comes up as well. Big right uppercut there. Well, Fuller's been caught, there's a trip there. I'm not sure that was a knockdown there, to be honest with you, but the referee's seen that. Maybe there was a shot in there. They fought on top of me. There's a standing eight count. That's two points down. It's a definite, definite space here in this fight from Fuller. It looked like a stumble from where I was, but he must have been clipped. Big hands now from Fuller. He's smelt blood and he's hammering away. He's got his distancing well as well. Looks like a very powerful kid. Oh, just Wara shot himself there, the uh, left hand of Wilmot. He's moving well, moves his head very well as well. It's not easy to hit a moving target. Just a little bit more creative, trying to get that hand over the top again. Bobbing, weaving, stepping back. He looks a little bit tired actually. Mouth wide open. Well, it's been a very, very good bout, this one. It's Lenny Fuller and Brandon Wilmot. It's an all South East England contest here. Maidstone head to head with Norfolk. It's been explosive, uh, Fuller, but the shots haven't been that clean, to be honest with you. I'd like to see him, yeah, as I say, he lands a nice clean jab through the guard I'd like to see him mix the body explodes well there that's good hook and punch there there's big problems for Wilmore from Kings Lynn here he's moving well but he's finding it very very hard to hit the moving target good right hand as well from Fuller he wears damage as well Very patient with his shots and just seems to put them together when they count. Now he's going to the body. Again, he spears that jab at a very good angle against the taller fighter. And the evasion's good, but he's going very low. Wading himself through is Brandon Wilmore here, chasing his man down. He knows he's got to chase this fight. Just a good round won't do it, though, I'm afraid. That standing eight count will take away two points, of course. Be a 10-8 round. Over three rounds. <laughs> That's destructive, it really is. A good fight nonetheless, and he's making a good statement for himself here. He's tripped again there. I'm, I think it's his foot in, I really do. But the talk of the fight will definitely be the knockdown. Was it a flash knockout or was it footwork there? I didn't precisely see here in the commentary box. Goes down as a very good bout anyway here at EBA. Four rounds of 
EJ action, we do have a unanimous decision. And that decision goes in favour of the Red Corner, Lee Fuller. And they're out for a fantastic challenger all the way from Kingsley, Brandon. Once again, your winner representing the Maidstone Boxing.